Tonight, a candlelight vigil for 11-year-old J.D. Soto Diaz. She was killed in a hit-and-run crash last night. Her mother speaking out tonight at an emotional ceremony. WBZ's Julie McDonald is live in Methuen at that vigil right now, right near the crash scene. Julie? Yes, Liam, that vigil an hour underway here. Dozens of people leaning on each other, friends and family who love the J.D. Soto leaning on each other in the place that she was killed. The 11-year-old was hit by a car as she crossed the street with her stepfather last night, just about quarter to 10. Her mom tells WBZ she was excited to go across the street to Family Dollar to buy something with money that she had. Police tell us she was just a step in front of her father and uh, her stepfather and just about at the double lines of this street, Broadway and Methuen. A car that appears to have been speeding hit her, sent her flying in the air and then kept going. The investigation all day today has been focused around surveillance images uh, all along Broadway here. Police are trying to enhance those images so that they can get a better idea of what that dark sedan is that hit that little girl and then took off last night. Police say because of the injuries that she suffered, they do believe that car has some sort of damage on the windshield or hood. They're asking neighbors here in Methuen and in nearby Lawrence to keep an eye out in their own neighborhoods. And they have a clear message for the driver, that hit and run driver. They say, don't make us come find you. We will, but they are encouraging that person to turn themselves in. We're live in Methuen tonight. I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Mm -hmm.